Okay, I am going to show you a handy trick, actually three handy tricks um, inside Illustrator. We're going to be going over grouping objects, how to make a compound path, and how to make a clipping mask. So let's start with grouping. Let's say, for example, we have a couple different objects. Um, just gonna make these quick and okay so you have different objects and right now they are each one individual object but it would be really handy to be able to make these movable by one click so if I want to group these objects together I'm gonna click and drag and select what I want to group or you can select each piece by holding down the shift key and have them all selected at the same time and then if you go up to object group it's right at the top or you can use the quick key which is control G now if you click on these they're grouped together they're one object they're movable all at the same time um, instead of having to click on individual pieces. So that is really a handy tool when you start working on um, complex designs with a lot of different multiple pieces. Um, and then if you want, if you decide later that you need to not have those grouped together or unconnected, you can just do an ungroup or shift command G and then you're back to individual pieces. So, group, control G, makes it one piece, and then select them all and do a shift, control G, and now, oh, shift, control G. Okay, my command isn't working, so we're just gonna do ungroup. <laughs> um, now they're all individuals. Now, the next, um, compound paths. We're gonna get rid of our group here. A compound path um, basically turns two objects into one object. So it kind of combines different um, pieces of your drawing. And the most common use for this, um, or the easiest way to explain, I'm going to draw a box and I'm going to color it with solid fill, so black. I'm going to get rid of the outline just for this. So I have a square and then let's say I draw another square right here and you can see that that's black. So if I choose my small square and my black square and go up to object, compound path, make you can see it knocks out it cuts out that top object that I had um, which was my small square and now it's one piece of artwork um, and you can use your white arrow tool and you can still edit um, this inside piece of art so it becomes a compound path and let me give you another example I'm going to do a circle and then I'm going to do another circle that kind of cuts inside of it and I'm going to select both of my objects compound path make and it cuts out the overlapping part it's only going to cut out the part that overlaps and if I use go back to my direct selection tool I can move this object around and move the points to change the compound path. So that is how you create a compound path. Uh, which we are going to need that little trick um, for our next demonstration which is how to create a clipping mask. And clipping masks are um, 
are fun and can be used um, helpful in a lot of different ways. The most common way is by um, if you want to make a photo, like put a photo in the background of an object. Um, let me get a photo in here. Actually, I'm going to find a background photo. Here we go. <coughs> I'm going to save this to my desktop. And back into Illustrator, I'm going to place my background image, which looks like gold foil. I'm going to click and drag it to get it inside Illustrator. It's pretty low res, which is fine for this example. So I want to create some text that has this image as the background instead of just a solid color that I choose for my toolbox. So in order to do that, I need to make a clipping mask. So I am going to type my name. And I think I'm going to make it bold so that I see more of the background. I'm going to place my text on top, stretch it out here. I'm going to um, turn my text to outlines. And then in this particular instance, when you're trying to make a clipping mask out of text, we need to make our text a compound path so it reads it all as one image. Um, object, compound path, make. <coughs> so now we have our outline of our text. So we want to select our text, hold the shift key down, and select our background image that we want to mask. And we're going to do object, clipping mask, make. And now it has basically masked out around our text or our um, vector object. Um, and if you want to redo that or you want to change it or release it, you just click on your clipping mask, go down here and do release. And then you're back to where you started from. Your text is still there, but it's no longer a clipping mask. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's do another one. Um, I'm going to get rid of my text, and this time I am going to create an object. So I'm just going to draw a little bit here. And create an object. So I have my, of course we can't see it because I don't have it outlined. There's my drawing, and I want to make it my gold background. So I'm going to select both my vector object and my background. Go up to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. And there we go. Now my drawing is my clipping mask around the background image. So this is really fun. You can have a lot, um, you can do a lot of different things with clipping masks. Um, if you had a photo, let's do, I'm going to place like a, a portrait. Um, photography. So I'm going to place this cute little guy's photo in here, and I am going to make a clipping mask because I want it to be a vertical photo. So I'm going to draw my rectangle where I want to create the clipping mask. So I'm going to keep my rectangle selected and my background photo object clipping mask, make. And there we go. Now we have a vertical photo. The photo is still there, 
it's behind here, but it's masked. It has Illustrator has created a mask, so the viewable area is only within your vector object. So there you go. Three more basic but very effective um, little tools and tricks that you can use in your designs. Thank you.